This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash awesomecast. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. Hey guys, it's time to get geeky, get awesome. It is the Awesome Cast, episode 461. I am Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in the Beachview neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA, as people are watching us uh, walking by and, and, and Amazon packages are coming in while we... <laughs> that was a late Amazon delivery, 7 p.m.? Wow. That was working. It was. It was. It was. And it was separate from the other. Like we had multiple things coming from Amazon. It was like, hey, this poor guy with the big Amazon thing. Anyways, uh, we are ready to get geeky with you on a Tuesday. One of the few Tuesdays we'll actually be doing this this month. So bear with us with our schedule uh, this month, guys. We'll get more into that later in the show. But with us, first of all, from Big Bank International Esquire, a gadget guru over there. He is John Chichilla. How's it going? It's good to be back. It's good to have you back for this week, weeks. and then you take a couple weeks off. Yeah, I get a week off. I come <laughs> in, two weeks off. It's Christmas in September. Yes. We take a couple weeks off, right? Perfect. Perfect. I'm sure nothing is going to happen next week at all. That's really good. And that's a bummer. Like, that I was, is a bummer. That's the one episode I look forward to each is that, year. Is that Apple redo? Mm-hmm. Um, well, maybe we'll just have to get on like a Google Hangout and do something. I don't know. But I, we'll find out if I have internet in Virginia next week since hurricanes knocked there, me out of Myrtle Beach. What's there like a good video service, like a direct Snapchat where we could just like snapchat back and forth and do like and a that becomes the show I, I, is this a, is this a thing out of tiktok we could do i it might be, it I, might I, be. I don't know can you video hey tick, by the way tiktok has been getting very bossy with its notifications lately <laughs> i'm just want to tell you i blocked the note i only yeah. go on occasion I, I mean that was the whole thing it was like you go and you see like oh look there's that duck puppet again it's and it's my uh in line at starbucks oh see i don't do that Skip waiting the for my crispy i'm even sitting in the line at mcdonald's sir actually maybe that's what i'll talk about uh i think it might change my awesome thing of the week also with us we have completely dutters black dutters <laughs> is what i prefer to be thank called. you for qualifying that for all of our audio listeners <laughs> hey guys if you can hear me i'm black and today i am dutters <laughs> that's right <laughs> That's for right. Our audio he, he may he may also resemble uh, pro wrestler Iceman Tony Johnson. Iceman. I, I, for some reason, I was saying on you the Iceman. Iceman. Mister Iceman. Iceman. There's plural of us. There's, yes, <laughs> we are the Ice Men. But of course, here early like X Men. We're just cold all the time. Cranky, <laughs> cranky, and cold. Right. Hey, you know your 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 team your t- uh, faction partner is the Metahuman, so that kind of fits in the X Men yes. fold, doesn't it? Superheroes, and then we have an All Star. That's right. In the sky. That's right. Means he can fly. We Absolutely. can tie this together if we want. Uh, but anyway, it's Tony Johnson, the Iceman, uh, with uh, Rise Wrestling. has got a show this weekend. Rise with a Y. Had to qualify that. Not the women's promotion. Uh, as well. I mean, Black Dutters <laughs> might true. be non-binary. That's true. That, that who, who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Oh man, thank you for joining us and getting getting geeky with us here here nope, this evening. No problem. So, and I understand you're gonna have a Dutter, Dutter styled report uh, coming up here. It was, it was very quick research. Yes, but yes, I do have something. Yes, for, for the listeners and the watchers. That's Whoa. what she said. <laughs> <laughs> anyways this is the awesome cast you can check out everything at awesomecast.com uh, where you can uh, 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 find the past episodes and where to subscribe to us you can find us on your favorite podcast app and player and video versions on Facebook and YouTube you can please uh, please share it uh, with your friends tweet it or uh, of course rate the podcast or uh, where that video version or wherever uh, so it can help us get in front of and bigger awesome audience you can also uh, ask your voice device your google home your uh, uh your amazon echo that keeps making new chimes at me uh <laughs> today and uh your uh, apple home pod uh, and ask it to play the awesome cast podcast through whatever app you have connected there and we're of course 
mostly usually september's gonna be a little bit weird uh every tuesday awesome cast is on facebook live at 7 p.m eastern time uh we will be off next week because uh the sorgs are going on vacation for the first time in six years and uh that means nothing nothing <laughs> we're, we're gonna check in with some stuff maybe an hour today but that means no podcast i'm sorry we're gonna take a week off it's 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 okay We'll be back. Unfortunately, next week we'll be doing another podcast on a Tuesday, so that'll be on Wednesday, the September 18th, we will return. So please mark your calendars accordingly. Um, yes. Real, real quick question on that note. Are we on Pandora podcasts? I don't know. We should be. Yes, we should be. Because as of right now, well, for select people and rolling out the next few weeks, yes, you can share podcasts from pandora to stories and instagram directly really yes oh might have to a little endeavor we should look into hold on a second remind me to see if we're on pandora podcast tomorrow at 10 a.m there we go siri will take care of me boom uh (laughs) and note take well the producer is busy so i have to take the notes myself (laughs) um anyways and you can also catch us later on if you catch us later on one of the other outlets or if you're uh streaming somewhere uh not facebook live uh you can be part of the conversation hit us up tweet us at awesome cast with the hashtag ac461 to continue the conversation and also find us on our streaming partners riversedgepgh.com and the 405media.com check your local listing on there for when we are streaming as well thank you to our patreon supporters patreon.com slash awesome cast our supporters of the show our friends at the five dollar coffee club level where we try to get you guys a little bit extra content there uh through the week uh our friends matt weller john diggy de gore and john carmen i saw in the chat room earlier and our friend our, at the fan of the show one dollar level that's been supporting us the longest on patreon michael fedor thank you so much you guys can support the show too at patreon.com slash awesome cast so let's get into our awesome things of the week chilla you know how like um i kind of like was on the side of pokemon until like pokemon go came out like the whole ar world overlay thing kind of captured my imagination and and Mm -hmm. kind of like i always liked pokemon but i never played a lot of it until that right i think minecraft is about to change for me because have you seen uh minecraft earth that's been announced lately so i'm super excited for minecraft earth and i will say on the pokemon side i had never played a pokemon game ever Mm -hmm. until pokemon go came along Mm -hmm. where as on the minecraft side because i have a five-year-old at home minecraft is like a probably every other day game Right. in our house right so i am well versed in the minecraft so i mean there's a little bit of a trailer and it's very it, you know i think that because it's, it's very akin i feel to that original uh, uh pokemon go uh you know it, it just kind of represents minecraft in the world uh, so you know a girl's kind of uh checking out her town and there's like little square ducks and blocks or something <laughs> going on and it kind of feels like it kind of feels like they're trying to do that little bit of a uh, uh the hololens demo that had minecraft in it so i and and i guess it, it so it's it's only available currently in beta you had this it was a pretty closed beta from the looks of it um uh under, not, not if you're in london not unless you're in london of course well okay it's, it's also closed geographically because it's only in five cities including mexico city london tokyo seattle and stockholm so i i know we do have a friend uh in the seattle era over on the wrestling mayhem show so we might and and has a kid that might be into minecraft so we might have to ask her if she's been uh checking this out um invite only for registered testers uh, but this is uh, it's ready for Android uh, users and and apparently it had already been open to the iOS users. Yes. So um, that I'm excited for this. So, so have you ever played Minecraft at all whatsoever? I've poked around with it a little bit. So, so the one thing that worries me about this game is like we always play like we have our own like local game so, yeah and, and occasionally even like you can play ipad to ipad or mm. switch to ipad or whatever um but we just play on our local network and our builds are stored locally on those devices mm-hmm. 
this when you build in the wild from what i from what i understand and what i've read and see have seen like if i go across the street and build something Mm -hmm. you can come and destroy it It wasn't there something i thought that all everything you build kind of resets after a certain time too that i did not see that part but i swear i read that somewhere it'll be interesting to see how they play that in because i feel like part of this is the oh i can build this here and it'll be here Mm -hmm. i thought forever yeah until some or someone blows it's it up with like, TNT. It's like it's a it, it becomes a digital graffiti yes. at a certain point, doesn't it? Just think of the advertising we can do for Awesomecast. <laughs> <laughs> It'll take a lot of time to do that, isn't it? No, just put like a little billboard with some, some block lettering. Okay, and then everybody that drives by on the T uh, gets to see Minecraft. that when it comes by that has Minecraft. It's like, oh, hello. Oh, this could be kind of fun. Oh, this could be kind of fun. Uh, Tony, are you have you have you poked at Minecraft at all? I mean, or uh, my little cousin has it for. When it came out for 360, but it was never my thing. Mm-hmm. Now, is this Minecraft Earth going to compete with Google Earth? Does I mean, Google have have anything to be afraid of? I, well, I think, well, to be honest, it's probably running on top of some Google technologies, most likely, right? Or at least the Microsoft technologies, I guess. It's running on Bing. It's running on <laughs> Bing? You're just going to Bing the Earth? The, 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 bing the Earth. <laughs> what would Jeeves do? <laughs> what would Ask do? Jeeves. <laughs> Uh, but I mean, it, it, it seems like, you know, I think it's more competition for your Pokemon goes and things like that. And, and it's, it's, it's that kind of persistent thing. I think it's kind of cool to be able to like, Hey, you, you know, imagine like walking downtown or, you know, there's going to be in bigger tourist areas or do you go for a walk like on the, on the, on the seldom scene trail here around Beachview, and you're just going to find people put random stuff, which is going to be in, you know, like, like is going to be a problem where people are just like being building blocky penises all over the place and being lewd. Right. Uh, so, you know, is that a problem somewhere? Again, something that maybe would be happening on like a private server, but now you're in this like public world. What's going to happen when you can build anything? What are they going to do with hate, hate speech? What are we going to, what are we going to do when we run out of space? Where are we going to build? Where are we going to build? This becomes, (laughs) Well, I mean, it's, it's so you know, obviously, there's this geographical thing right now, right? Because I mean, you're going to have to have like this persistent geography. So, is it going to be widespread? Can I just go into the middle of the woods and build something, right? Or well, they gonna, will come. They, 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 they will come, right? Uh, or is it like I have to be in in the city limits of Pittsburgh? Does that mean you know, in suburbs, it's not going to work? You know, is it going to be really locational for that? You know, is it going to be kids going? You know, uh, uh, you know. Uh, 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 dad, dad, take me downtown so I can play Minecraft. You know, <laughs> so but again, kind of an outside thing. Again, kind of like the Pokemon Go, right? Yeah. See, I feel like so. if you, this is where I think this game is going to be different because in Pokemon Go and Harry Potter Wizarding World, all of those are based on predefined locations where you have to right. go to interact. Right. If this truly lets me go anywhere. Mm. Like, I could see taking Christopher up to the practice football field and just tinkering around there or going going to places where there aren't a lot of people so we can kind of just build in a vast space. Mm-hmm. And you can't do that with any of those existing games, right? You, you, I feel like with those games, you have to hit a destination to try to hit a bunch of stops yeah, and whatnot. Whereas this, I mean, I could do it in my backyard. I can do it. Like there's so many places around here where there aren't there's nothing that I can go out on and just tinker around with a bunch of blocks. Okay. It's like life size Legos. Hmm. It'll be interesting to see. It'll be interesting to see. I guess they did show this off a little bit of WWDC this year too. Man, I have not, I have not been watching Apple announcements late, lately. Um, and there's a little bit of them kind of building stuff. Of course, they're using AR cameras to kind of show. Uh, what's going on there but it, it, this wasn't i don't think this was a uh, um kind of looked at as being like the 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 um minecraft earth kind of situation more just like we can play it on the table <laughs> i mean could you imagine building like a life-size x-wing parked in the parking spot or, or in yes, a parking spot across the street yes that'd be cool now where do you get the resources to build from is that something you have to pay for is it just come that they haven't explained the so in the they game haven't. the majority of the resources you if you're in survival mode, you earn through mining. Mm-hmm. And then if you're in creative mode, you just get them all. Okay. So I don't know how that's going to work. Now, I did notice in the, the update post that you posted, Sorg, there was a 
There's an in-game store where you can buy rubies, which is the in-game currency. And here goes the... Is that happening in other apps where they have the in-game currency that you actually buy by? The only thing that I've seen in normal Minecraft is there's in-game currency Mm -hmm. and it lets you buy additional like pre-built levels. Like we have a zombies survival one. Um, We have trying to think of the other ones there's like some kind of pet shop one Mm -hmm. but it lets you buy like pre-built worlds that also have like an additional game side to them i don't know what these these rubies do but uh, interestingly enough it does say that the store is open in the beta and anything oh and any rubies earned or purchased will stick with a player through the beta and that was something we had a mario kart uh beta uh, beta uh, may until june i think like for like 10 days mm-hmm. and there was no you couldn't purchase anything but you were earning stuff right so and there was no and of course that's not coming out until like the end of september or when I log back in with my Nintendo account, is that is all my progress going to come back? I mean, that, that's been a question for sure. Question. But also, are they going to change enough stuff that they couldn't anyways? So, plus I was playing on Android because it's always available for. But so it is interesting that they say any rubies earned or mm. purchased. So okay, it'll be interesting to see how that works out. Uh, and, and I'm hoping it gets more widespread and we get to build cool stuff right here the The first ruby's free and then you gotta start paying that's always the way right hey here's 40 diamonds in dr mario i'm sure you'll do fine Hmm. you know just a little bit to get addicted and i'm like oh maybe i'll toss five i actually haven't put any money into dr mario yet as much as i've been playing it like i haven't needed to but um but yeah i guess you hit the ceiling and you're like yeah, I could use some diamonds and just get a couple more pieces. I just need a couple more pieces, and then you just like have the have the shakes. You gotta grind it out. You gotta grind it out. I'm gonna grind. <laughs> it. Yeah, it's not annoying to grind it out in that one. And I don't so mind. Far. Like most of those games, I don't mind. Yeah, yeah. It, it depends when when there's multiple layers of currency. That's, that's what I have a problem. What was confusing to me? Yeah, that's that's the Marvel games have too many. Like the Contest of Champions, their fighting game. Um, like there was like three or four different things you could collect and like shards and, and gems and this and that. And just like, I can't keep up with that. And then like your, your, your UI just looks because you have multiple counts of things that buy one thing or another, uh, Brawlhalla is not so bad, but there's the stuff you can purchase and there's the stuff you could earn by doing ranked games. It's the super smash brothers, um, kind of game that you can get on just about every platform now it's a free game and, and you can play with like eight characters that seem to rotate but you can buy like you can get like uh hellboy and adventure time and wwe characters are in there now uh which are like 10 bucks <laughs> for mm. like it's, it's all about the merchandise that's crazy that's what i mean you, for a free game but I you guess. didn't play anything so it's like yeah. you know why not drop 10 bucks to play as the rock or becky lynch right yeah. So, I mean, it, it, it's kind of like, well, okay, I, I guess that makes sense to do, you know, but I'm used to like, hey, let's throw five bucks to get some Pokeballs because I ran out in Pokemon Go. Yeah. Right? I've, we've, Instead of finding a stop somewhere. Yeah, exactly. You know, I, I'm, I'm stuck here. I need to get this thing and I don't have any, right? Like, that's where they get you. Um, but, I mean, we, I've probably put, jumped $100 into Pokemon Go easily. <laughs> but that's like includes like the Pokemon Go like wristband and, and and all that kind of stuff. So I mean, but to track your steps, uh, yeah, it does. Well, it was it, it was doing the step track, but now of course the, the the watch does that. But it was doing the you know you hit the button and and you get Pokemon, you throw Pokeballs, you 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 get the spin the stop stuff like that. Now there's uh, now there's third party ones <laughs> that do even better. So, huh. Chilla, what is your awesome thing? What is my awesome thing? So I found this. It's the Insta. 360 go okay which insta 360 is known for their 360 degree cameras okay um which i don't think we've ever covered one of those devices on the show um or one of their branded devices I, I, and i feel other. like we're, we, there hasn't been much attention on 360 devices lately well don't worry because this isn't a 360 degree oh. camera um what the, the company's just known for their 360 degree cameras and the company's named 360 or insta 360 what the hell so this is more like a body cam kind so of this thing. is more like a body cam it's the world's it's touted as the world's smallest stabilized camera mm. so it's 18.3 grams mm-hmm. the back of it's magnetic 
And then based on the accessories, I thought the accessories were what kind of made it kind of cool. They have like a, a easy clip that you can kind of put inside your shirt or whatnot that lets it magnetically clip to a shirt pocket or whatever. Um, they have a other device that lets you kind of plug it in and it'll let you, um, it has one of those screw type bases so you can attach it to either the base they give you or any selfie stick. Mm -hmm. um, it pairs with uh, iPhone and Android for file transfer. The, let me find where they were. Um, photos can be taken 30, 40 by 30, 40. So it's square and exports at 2560. It does, it can do a hyperlapse. It can do slow motion. The interesting thing, and this was kind of what turned me off was, let me find where I talked about it. I think the internal eight gig of memory can handle 30 minutes. Oh, no, that's the hyper hyperlapse. Sorry. Where was that? Where's eight gig of onboard storage, which is enough for 28 minutes of standard footage. Mm. But if your storage is empty and the thing's all the way, all the way charged up, you'll run out of battery before you hit the 28 minutes. <laughs> Wait a minute. So, so what is the use case for this? Is this I just think for, it's, I think it's more, it's for TikTok. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so we have a, a TikTok cam now. Well, I think it's for like your TikTok slash Insta story slash Snapchat slash anything that you're going to do kind of short term. I feel like this is something that you can kind of clip on, run around, mm -hmm. grab some footage from. I'm doing a thing for five minutes. Yeah, I'm doing Yeah, I'm doing this for five minutes. I'm going to do it a couple of times. I'm going to take the best take. For instance, I did that once with a GoPro. I strapped it to the head of one of the organizers at an SAE event or in Baja, and he's always on the cart and, and checking out all the events and, 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 and checking on stuff, and you always see him everywhere. So I was just like, well, we're going to put a camera on you, and I'm going to time lapse it, right? That's what we would do for this, right? Like, it's, it's kind of that kind of situation. So I, there, there's some interesting videos, too. Um, in, in, given an example in this Engadget article, like, there's I – I'm presuming this is waterproof since one guy is uh, – <laughs> I it's, don't know, just pouring water on his face or something. It's like sp they can, oh, it's like the, the camera's IP, on the bottle. The, the camera's on the bottle, and he's just like pouring water on his face. It's like IP four or something. It's like considered splash proof. You're not going to take this underwater. No, <laughs> no, no, no. You know what? I you know I still haven't gone swimming with my Apple Watch. I, I know they oh, say I, I can I, go swimming with it. I swim and shower with my Apple Watch all the time. I, well, that's my charging time. So there's there's that. But I'm just I don't know. Is it salt waterproof? It's supposed to that one guy got. Saved from the ocean with his <laughs> Apple Watch. Yeah, but did his Apple Watch still work after he got saved? Yeah, they okay. used to find my Apple Watch. No, he because he had the cellular one. He called like emergency services. Uh, like he was. That's the thing, man. Like that's that's somewhere. a big thing. It's like I like I I think about that all the time. It's like, man, I could get mugged. They take my phone, but are they going to think to take my watch? Right? Or does it happen so quick? And then at least I got something, you know. Or if something happens to me, or if I get you know, uh, hurt or something when I'm alone, like I have, I can say, Hey, mm -hmm, 911 and, and, you know, or hit the button or whatever. Like I, that, that's a big thing to me. You know, it's, it's my medical alert, alert bracelet, <laughs> <laughs> you know, for, for any situation, you know? So I don't know. It, it, or if you need to save someone else's life, there was the one guy that actually strapped his Apple watch to someone else to get a heart reading uh, while he was oh, performing CPR. That's wow. Smart. Didn't think about that one. Yep. Um, somebody recently talked about their AK, EKG uh, when they were like, "Hey, something was wrong," and they they got the little alert to the AK, EKG and went in and you know got again all that information was there. You know, so you're not like going in blind. Yeah, I think something happened, and they tested you're fine now, but you weren't like 30 minutes ago, right? Mm -hmm. You know, somebody uh, recently was telling me uh, at one of the jobs I was working about how like the day before the conference they went to. Uh, the hospital because their their heartbeat was like 130 resting and they're like yeah i think like they they gave me cold brew but they didn't uh dissipate it <laughs> you know <laughs> so we got that is. he got straight cold brew like no dissipated or they, they, they usually mix it with water so it's not pure oh right so it's like I'm water down liquor. liquor yeah it's like got yeah it. it's like water down liquor so he took the whole <laughs> thing it was a little too much and his heart just it just went into palpitations because oh. he had so much caffeine but 
I don't know. Th- those things I think really are becoming lifesavers. Uh, Ice Man, Ice Dutters. <laughs> It, so we we, racking them up. we had you on to replace Dutters since you were here. That's hard to do. And we gave I'm you the trying. qualification. What were the qualifications we gave you to be the Dutters replacement? I heard uh, Get, b- butt things. Butt things. Uh, porn hub. Yes. Uh, and over six feet. Yeah, yeah. I think the hair makes it right. Yeah. Okay. I'm six one without the hair. You're six one so without the hair. I'm probably like six three. Okay. Okay. Hair. That's Dutters height. Okay. I think that's a qualif- That's a qualifier for sure. Uh, so you said you were researching. Yes, yes, <laughs> very, very scant research. Okay. Um, for the Pornhub. Yes. And this is a technology-based show. Yes. So I went to Safe for Work. I didn't look at anything that was unsafe. Okay. And I used the keyword technology. Mm-hmm. And guess how many pages came up? Mm. One. One. That's it. So my research, in conclusion. There's a lot of scumbags out there that really don't care about technology and they just want to look at naked people do inappropriate things. So that is my awesome thing for the day. People go to a library, go take your kids somewhere and learn something instead of looking at weird stuff on your phone. Wow. Thank you. Do you have any other awesome thing of the week? (laughs) No, that was my awesome thing I found today. We did kind of spring this on you. so So in all fairness... But that's okay. We got a lot more to talk about here. Uh, by the way, an update because she's uh, busy with some work right now. Producer Missy got an awesome thing. We got our paper shredder in today. Her toy. Yes. PG. That is safe for work. That is safe for work. Did you know there's a whole section of Pornhub that's SFW? Yes. That's what I clicked. That's what he's, yeah, that's what he's talking about. Yeah. I didn't realize this. It's. I don't know why. I guess it's like getting decaf at Starbucks. <laughs> it's still coffee. Porn hub but... safe for work. Hold on a second. Safe for work porn videos for safe for work sex. But wow, it's this a... is for real. Yeah, that yeah. is an awesome. Although, now the ads on the side are not uh, going to be yeah. safe. For I was going to say I saw one video that had a. Boob, oh yeah, those videos are. It. I'm glad I didn't pull that up. What that is fairly odd parents. There's SpongeBob videos in there. Yeah, there's some sick people. What is happening? But like the one I'm watching is like from the 1970s, and it's like everything over top of it's like comics. Oh, oh yeah, that's funny. This is well, th- there's a couple of slip in there. Uh, <laughs> so I'm glad I didn't show those. Anyways, almost like, safe for work. Hey, be the yeah, category. You know what's safe for work? Our good friends at Slice on Broadway. <laughs> You don't even have to turn the turn the save filter on for them. Uh, anyways, our friends at uh, Slice on Broadway, right up the street, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Now with four locations, right here in Beachview, as well as Carnegie, PA, the east end of Pittsburgh, as well as PNC Park, the home of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Thank you so much to those guys supporting Pittsburgh podcasting for a good a long time here. It was cool to see them grow as we grow here in the as a podcasting network of sorts. So, <laughs> oh, sorry. oh no. Oh, and then oh, wait, wait, you <laughs> you choking up on that one? Uh, no, I was. I, that's uh, a bad time to choke coming yes. out of the Pornhub <laughs> segment always, uh, between the Pornhub and the and the food sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, anyways, our friends sliceonbroadway.com. Go check them out. Let them know the awesome cast sent you. Maybe he's in a knife play. I really he need got to turned get, on by the idea I of getting sliced. Get this Pornhub thing out of here. <laughs> um, jeez. <laughs> That's the you know I, I don't know how this became the porn hub show. Well, I kind of do know how this because regular hub. dutters because of regular dutters. And I'm just <laughs> embodying that through black dutters. That's right. I hope she's listening. <laughs> Anyways, um, what is going on? I, like I said, I have a lot of video game stuff, but I feel like we already poked a little bit at that. So first of all, do we want to? I mean, we are a week out, less than a week out from the Apple announcements. And and state of the iPhone, I I don't know that I would want another one, and I'm two years out. I got an eight. Like I don't even have the new new with the face you're, technology. You're one year out, aren't you? Well, I would know. This the would XR, be two. XS. Technically two years. I bought mine in March last oh, year. I but... thought you meant you were two. I thought you were saying you're two years out from like getting your next device. No, no, I'm like you're one year out from getting a new. Typically, device. I am right on schedule. My personal schedule for iPhones, like I should be getting one this year. Mm, because but i do not expect to get one right like even even it took me a while to get that last one because i was just like i kind of want one i don't need one and then i i think 
I think one of our phones was was crap in the bed anyways, and we we got them in like. I was like, screw it, it's my birthday, I'm getting my new phone. And three but still three cameras. Three cameras. <laughs> but three cameras. Actually four many, if you include the front face. I mean, I got I barely used two cameras on this thing. So mm. and you know, and I'm the old school one. I'm the old fogey that still has the fake button on the front, uh, and, and touch ID and stuff. But I, I you know, and it old school. But at the time I didn't want to do one face technology and all that kind of stuff, right? So and even as it is, I think the wife's uh, iPhone X has been acting up a little bit. So is she nice. still in headphones over there? Yes. Yes. Okay, we're good. Um, <laughs> Chilla, what are we looking forward to here in the next week? So I'm actually not as of right now until obviously Apple uh, three cameras. Yay! Um, based on rumors, let's, let's qualify this. Based, based, yeah, based on, on rumors. rumors, I'm not overly excited about the phone itself, but some of the stuff that's been seen. In the iOS 13 beta. Okay. That includes the trackers. So Apple, they're, they're claiming that Apple is working on like a tag type device, like the tile. Have you ever seen one of those tiles, oh, the little yeah. square type? Yeah, device? yeah. I heard that they're kind of like rejuvenating that, right? Yeah. So they're working on their own version of the tile, which also leads to why the Find My iPhone app is now just the Find My app. Mm-hmm. Um. I think that's that could be kind of cool. And one of the things they're saying is if you put one of these tags, say, in your backpack and the backpack gets up and walks away or you leave it on a at, at the airport accidentally or mm-hmm. you lose it, whatever. Um, when you put the tag in lost mode, it will ping off of any iPhone that walks by it. Wow. And then you can kind of get alerted. Hey, this this whatever that tile or that tag was last seen here. And I can't tell if it, well, it, this is all rumor and hearsay, so who knows how it'll actually work. But they're saying it will let you contact the person that last saw it mm-hmm. or the, the device that last saw it. I don't know if that's going to be an opt-in thing, like allow people to message me if I saw their device kind of thing. Because wouldn't that be nice if you're like, oh, look, someone's in the airport exactly where I left my bag. Hey, could you go grab that and take it to security? Mm -hmm. um kind of thing i don't know i just i like that concept also for someone that constantly loses (laughs) everything like his keys wallet which is is scary considering how much technology you carry yourself on a regular basis i I, I rarely lose my backpack how much money do you think is in your backpack too much too much yeah sometimes i do that math and was like i was like you know, I'm, going, I'm going, happier not knowing. Going to going to like video shoots and stuff. I just think about like what's in the back of my car right now. Well, cables aren't mm. cheap. Just Cab- the cables. The alone. cables are not cheap. But you're looking at like I one time I did the math on what I brought with me on a on a trip, and I I think I counted up around at least six thousand dollars of equipment I brought with me on a trip, mm. and that was like a camera, a iPad, and a laptop. So now you could plus tuck, the accessories. You could tuck you could tuck one of these into your camera. You can mm-hmm. super glue one to the bottom mm-hmm. of your laptop. It sounds like you'd be playing Marco Polo with your lost items. Kind of. Like you're just pinging around like kind it was of. here. So I'm getting warmer. Well, and, and also you gotta watch because um 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 uh enforcement will uh law enforcement will not um take that in consideration. I hey, I know this device is here, but they won't go for it. They won't they won't go try after to get it. it. They won't go after it. That you know, uh, it, it doesn't help in that case, right? Now, if you want to go vigilante on this shit, there's an option too. That'd be kind of cool. We should you do what? a whole show. What? We'll come. We'll come get your stuff back. Find find like my the vigilante. Op- find my eye stuff vigilante. Repo people. I mean that that could be. I mean it could be like. Like I was, I was gonna say Boone the Bounty Hunter, but that's the movie, not the actual one. Dog the Bounty Hunter. That, was that? Dog, you know dog, what? Yes. Boone the Bounty Hunter sounds like a real bounty hunter that would have a TV show. Dog the Bounty Hunter sounds like the one that was the weird movie done by a pro wrestler. But either Boone. way, Boone. Boone. You never seen Boone? Can it be? No. Can it be sponsored by Boone's Farm? The real cheap <laughs> wine. <laughs> and I'm not aware of this. Oh. You've never heard of Boone's Farm? No, I've never no, heard of Boone's, heard of Boone's That's Farm. That's the same brand or same tier as like Mad Dog 2020. Okay. Like real cheap, but when you're college or low on money, it works. It's <laughs> no. not ideal, though. So kind of the, 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 Keystone, the Keystone Ice level of uh, of wine? Maybe Natty, Natty Light. 
The Natty Light ish. Yeah. Okay. All it's right. It's cool. People like it, but it's you'll go for the Bud Light if you have the money. Bud Light's for the high end. <laughs> <laughs> so you, um, you can put a tag on your Natty Light. Nice. Or Natty Light. I don't think anyone's going to steal it from me. <laughs> If I have it, I don't know. You, 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 who 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 uh, uh, keeps losing their solo cup at the park, right? <laughs> exactly. I mean, like, mm. it's okay. I got a title. Well, Let me find do, my iPhone. They're claiming that they will have a little speaker on them too. So, you're oh gonna yeah, be able to, like they'll be like if you left your wallet and it slid in the couch cushions and you can't find it. Now, how does how dang. much is Apple going to charge for a thing that you will probably lose? TBD. Yeah. Can you? It'd be funny if you heard them plotting like, "Hey, man, there's this laptop here." Somebody left Starbucks. We're gonna take it. Like, does it record the? I don't think it'll record. Well, it's a speaker. Uh, it's a, it's, it's not a, a microphone. It's just a speaker. Okay. Oh, but you know, maybe I'll just activate everybody's Siri around that they're listening to, anyways. Uh, <laughs> so. But they, they're also claiming that they found in the latest um, iOS, they found a software package and icon for the potential. Apple glasses, mm. which they're saying based on the code, it does not look like they're like your Google Glass or HoloLens style glasses. Right. They're more in line with um, like a the Quest. Uh, what's the headset? The Oculus Go. Oh, so they're going to do a VR Quest headset. Go. It sounds like it's going to be more like VR, but it's going to be based off of like the CarPlay concept. So, or so the- I'm going to put this thing on my head. It's going to sync probably Bluetooth to my phone, and basically my phone is going to move, going to have the apps, like p- push the apps that will be in this VR. Right. And when you think about the first rev, the first couple of revs of i or Watch OS, mm-hmm. how the brains happened on the de- on the the phone. Mm-hmm. But the all the UI elements were on the watch. Yeah. Um, Whereas, that, like before, we could like actually like make phone calls and things on our watch. Yes. That without our phones. Correct. But correct. And you, with a Wi-Fi only watch, you can still make a phone call. Right. It just needs right. to have your phone. But it's not independent. Yeah. Yeah. So that it, and the reason they're saying that is because the apps. They're, they're going to use the common app model. So you know how the same app runs on the phone and on an iPad? Mm-hmm. They found markers that show the apps run in held and worn mode. Oh. So like Pokemon Go. Held in my, on held my phone. On my hand, held in my hand on my phone will play, but then worn. On your headset. On my headset. Huh. So it will mm-hmm. also use the same app kit models, which could be kind of cool because it could get them to get apps out there really quick. Right, right. So it's literally like I have a, a, you know, Pokemon Go on my phone. I slip this thing on my head. It triggers it. Now I'm in like VR mode. Or with uh, Minecraft Earth would be a perfect example of this, right? Sonic Racing. Sonic Racing? Oh, boy. They need a new Sonic Racing because they don't have Sonic Kart Racing anymore on there. It, it, it fell out with the 32-bit. fell out with 32-bit. Yeah, yeah. I got an iPhone 4S hanging out of my desk with all those old iOS games that don't work anymore on it. <laughs> At least the ones they still let me download. Because they took WrestleFest off the market and it pisses me off because I paid $10 for that thing. But anyways, thank you, THQ, for going out of business. Uh uh, anything else to look out for? Uh, I mean, you, you've been you've been in the beta mode with everything. I mean, we're the, gonna the we're beta gonna... is the beta. I I feel like, and this is where maybe running the beta isn't always the grass isn't always greener. So I've been running the beta since you're used to it. July. Yeah. It's like, yay! They released what I've been running for months. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's not it's not new to me. Okay, so what in the last couple of months? What what have been um on new iOS? What have been the the what has changed for you? Like, is there is there anything that we we get to look forward to in features? I, <laughs> I mean, have you done the iPad stuff? I like I the mean, emoji. You love the emojis. So they take like have have you made like the <laughs> have you made a emoji or whatever? Uh Chilla, I am running an iPhone eight. Oh, you can't do it. I can't uh, do emojis because I so don't have your. When you, fancy once you cameras. create your emoji, <laughs> now. They actually have custom emojis based on your emoji. So, oh. like, 
Okay. So like it has my face. And me emojis for the uh, to explain for people. Those are when you have the the face uh the uh, the iphone x models like and you can do the face stuff like you're making like it's like the me's or the avatars on xbox right you're making a but version i'm wondering of if they're gonna let you create maybe they're not gonna let you do the ar stuff to create a message mm-hmm. but like if i go into like my emoji button and i scroll to the right it actually uses my head <laughs> with like the expletives or heart eyes or thumbs up oh. or kissy face like any of those tip- typical like smiley emojis that have different expressions yeah my it's now my face with those expressions okay so that's fun dark mode is great um <laughs> i i'll be honest with you i really like the different browser on the ipad more than anything like okay. just the way the long press works opening a new tab opening in split screen getting back and forth between those so I'm, um, i want to see most of the changes to I, ipad probably and i'll tell you what but also the being able to swipe down and long press on the buttons in the control center or whatever you want to call it that's super nice i thought that was a thing that already happened yeah, it happens in ios 13 like, are you talking about well, I three D touch and it pops up like things for my flashlight brightness and stuff. So, so when you when you swipe down mm-hmm. and Do you that. long press on the Wi Fi button, what happens? Uh, nothing. But so I, I get I get an expanded. So panel. now if I three D press, I get that. Now when you three D press on Wi Fi, do you get a list of all the Wi Fi that's around you? No, I do. <laughs> Ooh, and now this, he's bragging about his beta. Jeez. Now this is stimulating the black dutters. <laughs> the, the other thing that I like is, so do you use um, the hotspot? I do. So now hotspot, you can auto share with family. So like if you have the family link set up where like if I download an app, then Christopher can get it for free. If he downloads mm-hmm. an app, and pays for it, I can get it for free mm-hmm. all around the family. Um, I can actually put the hotspot on and say only allow my family to share off to share this hotspot. Interesting. So I thought that was, and you don't have to give them the password or anything. Well, if that only so works that with my cool. Apple TV, <laughs> it may. But it was also I got to figure out my my hotspot issue. I wouldn't even bother with, it, with internet at home if my hotspot was more than ten gigs. So it's just like you run out of 10 gigs and I just be like, well, I got my iPad. All right, there's another 10 gigs while I watch this <laughs> Netflix series. Oh, well, anyways. Um, oh, is it 10 gigs per device? Yeah. On the unlimited plan? Yep. On the one I have. I can bump up to 20 for the next one, mm. but I might not have, keep my HBO. I'm wondering about going to the unlimited plan. Yeah, it's been good. I never notice the slowdown after we go over the 22 gigs. And I hit the 22 gigs every month. <laughs> So we're doing a lot. Uh, uh, Tony, are you an iOS guy? Um, I have iPhone 6S. 6S? <laughs> yeah. That's a hand-me-down from my girlfriend. See? You're talking about hand-me-downs. Yeah, and, and the 6S works fine. Yeah, for now. Like, it's, 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 yeah, it's so probably got another comes six out. months to a year, and then it'll yeah. be, oh, sorry, you can't do this. Please mm-hmm. upgrade. So. Oh, being able to crop a video and photos. Oh, that's interesting to me, actually. Yes. Especially since it records a 4K. And... We recently recently did a video project where we recorded in 4K and we're like, oh, but this is like off kilter. It's like, don't worry, we'll crop it in later. I'm like, like I feel like we're being lazy video people because we can just crop it in for HD later. It's just like that's weird to me. I'm not used to that, right? But anyway, the other thing, and I don't know, do you use? And I never, I did not start doing this till after I started running this beta. But have you ever used the search function in Photos? beyond i usually do it in google photos okay so i started using like oh sometimes i'll search for like dog or something right i did i was a bounty hunter no 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 no. my (laughs) no dog my chihuahua named wicket Oh, okay yes um i used it i needed to find i took a picture of a whiteboard Mm -hmm. it's something we had up on a whiteboard for work and i literally went into photos and typed in whiteboard and it brought up Every it, whiteboard. It found 114 whiteboards. You did this a lot. In, yes. Including, but including like an old PodCamp Pittsburgh, I think maybe seven. 
which was probably like Maybe eight years ago, six or seven. And it was the we're still here, and you guys were in front of a whiteboard. <laughs> nice. But it found it. Found 114 instances of whiteboard, but then that's much better than the thousands of pictures I have on here. Yeah, like yeah. Scrolling back. Yeah. And then I could go from there and shrink by date. Nice. And I'm like, oh, I know it was like a month ago. And these are new new search functions that's coming I'm up. I'm guessing I've okay. never used like the search for whiteboard, search for dog. Interesting. Um, but it worked extremely well. Interesting. That's all supposed to be uh, off server too. So it's yes, supposed to be all off internal. server. So, which I don't know how that works because I know my iCloud is uploaded to the server. So now is it using the server for that? I don't, Mine's not uploaded. It kind of crosses over. So anyways, um, there's some video game stuff going on here. Oh, Pokemon Masters hits 10 million downloads in four days. I think they said it took a week for Pokemon Go. Um, hey, there's a new Pokemon game on iOS, <laughs> but I'm still waiting for my Mario Kart. Is it um, is it multiplayer? Or it, is it you know I haven't gone far enough to figure out. I think it is. It's from DNA, uh, who I believe is. Um, although they did Super Mario Run and they did the Fire Emblem game uh, for uh, OS. Uh, let's see. I want to pull up the video. This is not. This is the new one with that. So yeah, it, it's it's kind of. And I was playing a little bit of it here before the show because I was kind of interested. And we were talking about how like kind of Pokemon brought us in. Oh, Nintendo's completely going to take us down for this. Um, but, <laughs> but it was it is kind of the more RPG ish of the original uh, Pokemon games. Um, and, but it's it's very kind of overly cartoony and everything. It's not loading the video. Uh, but it, it's back to that original Pokemon, like, three-on-three three RPG kind of situation. Um, just it looks a lot better. And it's mostly kind of there's a story mode, story mode, you fight, story mode, story mode, story mode, you fight. Again, just going through the tutorial so far, I don't know if there's, like, you're not wandering around, like, in the Game Boy games or anything mm. like that. So um, It took forever to find a bike in Pokemon Red. I used oh, to yeah. walk around everywhere. Oh, yeah. I didn't know there was a bike in that one. Yeah, on Pokemon Red. I yeah. said, said Pokemon Go was kind of my first. Like I played ah. Stadium on my brother's N64, and like we loved the mini games and that, and playing Stadium itself, right? But uh, but also that was like making those pixelated Game Boy into like 3D versions for the first time, right? Yeah. Um. So I, I feel like I'm going to poke at it a little bit, but the story seems really kind of corny and and weird. But um, uh, you know, we'll see if it how long I roll with it. I'll, I'll probably I'll probably poke at that for a little bit since I just found it. I, and I'm surprised, like, like this I'd never heard of the uh, Minecraft Earth I hadn't heard of. Like, it, it's like I'm missing a loop on on my video game, my uh, mobile video games <laughs> lately. <laughs> so um, there's there's like there's stuff in there like sync pairs. Um, yeah, so it, it's really I I'm, I'm still kind of getting the concepts with it, but it is just you know Pokemon Masters League and you're going through some of the characters seem familiar to some of the cartoons I've seen in the past. Um, still waiting for Ryan, Ryan Reynolds to pop up in this one, <laughs> uh, but uh, <laughs> you know you 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 start with a, a, a Pikachu and everything. So I mean it's it's more Pokemon. It's not a weird card game and uh, it, it feels like kind of a real Pokemon um um for this so uh look out for that and it does attach your nintendo account and everything and sometimes you get some extras for that too speaking of nintendo there's a nintendo direct tomorrow what are you looking forward to chilla yeah so um yes there's they announced i think this after today they announced at some point in time there'll be a nintendo direct tomorrow at i think it's actually at like 6 p.m eastern standard time okay it'll be dinner time for us um i'm excited to hear more about zelda Link's Awakening, which I never got to play before, mm -hmm. but they're actually going to be selling one of the little, what do they call them, Amiibos or whatever. Amiibos. The little NFC. They're still selling Amiibos? Oh, yeah. Wow. Um, so there's a limited edition one Are they one like of those. the last one that's still selling those? Because like like Disney folded theirs, didn't they? Yeah, Disney folded. Their Infinity ones, and yeah. then, I don't know, maybe Skylanders are still out there? I don't know. I, I don't know if Skylanders are still out there. But so that, yes, and in fact, if you get the the limited i think it's gonna be limited uh link's awakening one mm -hmm. it will unlock shadow link inside the game okay um they haven't revealed yet if you'll be able to unlock him without having the amiibo mm -hmm. the other thing like for smash brothers you can unlock characters quicker if you have the amiibo um so i'm excited to hear about uh link's awakening and what i'm really hoping for 
is at the end of August, there was a leak of an Overwatch Switch case Mm -hmm. that leaked out um, on Amazon and was quickly taken down. Um, I'm hoping we get an announcement that Overwatch is coming. Uh, Have you been an Overwatch player? I play on the Xbox, Mm -hmm. and one of the things that bummed me out and I didn't realize ahead of time was, unlike Fortnite, that I have Fortnite on my switch on my phone on my ipad on everything Mm -hmm. and anything i any skins i buy any dances i get whatever follow me around overwatch is per Mm -hmm. device so if i unlock something on my xbox i wouldn't get it on my if i ever got overwatch for my computer which has actually kept me from getting Overwatch for my computer. But if it came out for the Switch, I might be willing to start back over because what am I really losing? Skins I've unlocked. I've never bought, purchased any. And you live on the Switch thing. a little bit more and these I, days. And I'm more on the Switch than I am my 3 By the way, thank you for reminding me to update, update my Fortnite on my phone so I can maybe <laughs> Another play Another 5 gig download soon. coming your way? Uh, no, this one was only 200. I did download 5.5 gigs to my phone. Last week, because I hadn't opened Fortnite for a while. And, my, and also, my flashlight is still on from when we were doing our 3D test demo earlier. Uh, anyways, <laughs> so, so uh, also, Chile. I, I, Tony, are you a, a, a Nintendo player? Are you are you watching out for these? Um, I have a Switch um, and a PS4. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm actually replaying the Tomb Raider trilogies that came out. The newer one. Yeah. I'm on the second one. Uh, Rise of Steam Raider. I'm playing that for the first time. I've replayed the remastered first nice. one again. So I beat that and now I'm in the second one. I've been wondering about that because I, I, I got through the first Tomb Raider and then I got the remastered version through gold and I'm like, do I go back? Is it worth it? Because it looked amazing on the 360. It's a lot better. Yeah. Yeah, the remaster's a lot yeah. better. And it has like the voice control. Uh, for your weapons and stuff. So you oh. can like, oh, arrows. And then she just pulls out the arrows. And nice. It's pretty cool. Nice. Um, also been debating, because I have a physical copy and then the Xbox One here, uh, Watch Dogs. Should I go mm. for the the one version or should I just roll with my 360 at, at home? That I don't. I, I'll be honest with you. When I, got the, when I picked up the PS4 and picked up Spider-Man, like Watch Dogs was on sale for like two dollars at yeah. GameStop. So I'm like, uh, I've always wanted to play this. I'm gonna pick it up, and then I'm like, I'm still playing Spider Man. So. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. Like, I'm, I'm finally getting. I, 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 I must have bought two years ago Devil May Cry Four, and I just started playing it this Ooh. past weekend. You know, yeah. I just like grab these games when they're on sale, and just like, oh, what am I doing? I don't have time. And then, but then I'm like, hey, I got a Friday night off, and I, I, I play a couple of these games for a few hours, right? Mm-hmm. Video like, games are like good books. They you don't are. have to buy the book. And read it immediately. No. You put it on your shelf, and then when you get to it, I haven't still played. Just good. I, I bought a couple of games off of Shirley Doe a few months ago. Still haven't popped them in. You know, <laughs> it's just it's weird. It's also weird the games that I grab on discount and then I have on digital version on gold. <laughs> like the I basically have the entire Gears of War collection on both formats. So wow. like I have one through three. I, I'm part way through two, and and now they just dropped four, <laughs> which I think is the Xbox One. Like mm-hmm. their first Xbox One one. And then like the Judgments is in there too, like Judgment Day or whatever, like the one of those in between ones. Um still trying to get through uh Halo Four, uh, so I can go play Halo Reach that's been sitting on my account forever, you know. It's it's like I mean it's a good spot, you know. And and I don't wanna buy anything except for I don't know, like Mortal Kombat eleven maybe. <laughs> it's a good <laughs> so storyline. It is I played a little bit through it and it I looks still, really good. Dude, I still drop in and I and I play a little bit more here and there like Mortal Kombat nine. Okay. Yeah, because it was it was like uh, you know before they kind of re- you know the style kind of picked up with ten like it was still that original style and that original storyline and and I think that's kind of cool to kind of go back to. Yeah. So I don't know. I just I'm not. I, God, I, I can't believe how much I'm still getting out of 360. Like I still get a lot out of my 360 games. You, you know? don't play online, do you? Um, not a whole lot. No. Because I didn't know if any of their servers were still. I, I think it, it kind of hit or miss. I've been talking about how um, while Chill has been playing, I think the the most recent uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance, I've been playing the first one, okay, which was a launch title on the 360. So it's like a what 15 year old game, it's you know? But they they still have it for PS4. I saw my brother in law had it on like oh his, yeah, the game shelf inside the PlayStation. So 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's still weird because it's just you know pre cinematic universe and everything. So um, let's see, optimizing content. What are you doing, Fortnite? Anyways, uh, Chilla, you bought something stupid. Yeah. So Jeez. I've I've seen this ad come up in my Facebook timeline, and you went like, for it like a thousand times. And God, they know. I you. kept I kept looking hmm. and kept lo- and I'm like, nope, I'm not even clicking on it. Nope, I'm not even clicking on it. And finally, I saw them, and I'm like, okay. If they accept Apple Pay, <laughs> I know this is a qualifier. If they, if if I could pay with my face, I'm gonna buy these glasses that go on he, your face. Here was my theory, though, is that I made the mistake one time of buying like one of these gimmicky things, and I used my credit card, and then the company like disappeared, oh. and my credit card number ended up somewhere else. I'm like, I know that's where that came from. But Apple Pay, you're protected. But um, Apple Pay, like it's randomized. Like I'm totally protected. So if these if these glasses never show up, <laughs> I'm out forty bucks. Yeah. But I'm not replacing a credit card, debit card, and then having to go rekey that card into fifty two different places. Yeah. So that was the deal. So Lush Crate. I don't know if anyone's ever ordered anything from there, but they're selling Edith knockoff sunglasses from the they're the tony stark glasses from both um the avengers movies as well as the latest spider-man um far from home so spoiler alert i hmm. can we do that but I, <laughs> they but just they, released the extended the, cut but that's part of the that's in the preview oh i guess he's it wearing is, yeah. the glasses yeah it is <laughs> um so when i get these glasses i'll let you know I may even wear them on the show. You have I to wear them on the show. But they're... Well, they're sunglasses, though, right? They're sunglasses. Do well, they do anything other than protect your eyes from the sun? No. Oh, okay. There's no AI built into them. They're only $40 they're only sunglasses. $40. Well, I didn't know what which, you were paying for. Which, for as good as they look, they're only $40. I'm kind of surprised they're only 40 I thought these were going to be like $150 glasses. Well, they're, they're $70 marked down to $38.90. Oh, so. okay. Well, there um, you go. So, yeah, I picked up a pair. I'll let you know. The one thing that did bum me up... but about them is it looks like I can't replace the actual lenses in them. Like if I wanted to get them, but I, I have contacts Mm -hmm. so I can wear them with contacts. So, Mm. and if you buy two, you get 15% off. I did not go for that. Your life of turning into Tony Stark is, is one step closer, one step closer, one step closer. If I can turn into black Dutters, you can be Tony Stark. (laughs) Perfect. (laughs) There you go. Uh, uh anyways uh if you <laughs> so we do a lot of streaming here including pro wrestling we filmed a lot of uh the ice man's matches over here as well including the classic 30 minute iron man match yep that main event and one of my one of my favorite uh, uh matches in rise history i think a match of the year candidate last year too wasn't it, it? was had to have been. and i had think we been. had the solo uh poster for that show I think you did. Think yeah, so. yeah, yeah. So uh, we do a lot of production like that, you know, ever expanding, doing a lot of uh, podcasts, uh, including I've mentioned before Inside Podcasting. A new episode is going to be going up around when this one does on Wednesday morning early. Uh, but from sporting events to music videos, production to conferences, everywhere in between, the team at Sidekick Media Services has you covered. Uh, we're your sidekick to your superhero project. And what next big thing can we help you with? You can find out more at Sidekick Media Services dot com so uh from that like i mentioned uh you know out of network uh inside podcasting something i've been working with and i believe the third interview is going up this week i've learned a lot from other podcasters that are like on like npr and washington post level it's been kind of fun to uh be part of editing that project um but also i believe the final episode uh final interview episode of innovation works caffeinated innovation will be out this week too uh, I don't think I can announce who that is yet on there until it gets approved. Uh, but that is in the can and, and out there. And, uh, and you guys can check out all the rest of that 10-episode uh, season uh, out there on iTunes, too. A lot of fun uh, doing that project. Um, shout out to our friends. Uh, a lot of updates on the site. Our friends at Thrifty Podcast, Bardic Mystery Tour, the D- Dungeons & Dragons Podcast. Uh, our friends Bold Sports Pittsburgh. I believe it is currently rolling out, but if you go uh, look up the link uh, over on SorgatronMedia.com under the post, Bold, Bold, I'm sorry, Bold Pittsburgh Sports, I need to get it in the right context, uh, is going to have its independent, its own independent uh, feed. It's graduated, finally. 
the sports podcast has graduated to uh, its own feed. Uh, probably should have a while ago. They're at like 94 episodes. So, <laughs> but uh, go check them out. Uh, everybody on the network. A lot of stuff happening over there. Also, tomorrow, Wednesday, the 4th of September, uh, we will be doing an extra life marathon uh, with my brother, uh, Lord. I believe Lord Sorg on the uh, on the uh, Twitch. Uh, we're going to be broadcasting from here. I'll put it out on social media a lot. They're going to be kicking off at 9 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, with that, there's going to be probably several streams, and we'll have links out there on Extra Life as well for a good cause. I believe that is for the Children's Miracle Network, if I'm not mistaken, is the one they usually do, right? right? Sounds good to Black Daughters, yeah. right? <laughs> um, so we'll be doing a bit of that here. Um, and strangely, we're also going to be doing some interviews here tomorrow night <laughs> while that's happening on the side. So look out for that. And of course, we'll be doing some episodes of Pittsburgh Current Podcast with, have we announced our guest? Well, I'll just go ahead and put it out here. Uh, Bob Papiani is going to be on that show by, by phone. He's not going to be in the studio, but um, that'll be fun. Uh, Chilla. That's my name. Where can people find you? They can find me at Chilla on the Twitter. They can find me at John Chilla on the Facebook. They can find me at Chillatech.net. And where can they find the Iceman Tony Johnson? Um, at Iceman Tony J on Twitter. Iceman Tony Johnson on Instagram and Tony S on Facebook. There you go. Thank you for joining. Thank you for filling in for Dutters. I was trying to find her at name and stuff, but I don't. I don't know. It's somewhere. I think it's K Dutters. It's at K Dutters on the Twitter. If you want to find the original, that's where she is. There you, you go. You gotta you gotta register black dutters. I'm sure that's not taken. <laughs> I mean, I'm sh- sure it could be my burner account. <laughs> He's gonna show up at the family reunion now. <laughs> when we talk about labia shredders and Pornhub, <laughs> that is the account I will post from. Uh, it's been the awesome Page cast. Doesn't exist. Thank you so much again. Yours. We're gonna be off next week. We'll be returning on Wednesday, September 18th. Who knows? Maybe we'll do a special something or other via phone or something with Chilla. Chilla and I will get on a Facebook Live or something. You know, actually, we probably should, now I think about it, get some first reactions next week. You never know. You never know. You know you're at work, so we can't really do that, can we? But anyways, on what's going on next thank week. you, Producer Mi- Missy, for dealing with us over there. And <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. Uh, you've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.